Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple new features in the Wi-Fi section of One UI 7 here on my Galaxy S24 Ultra. And thanks to Jeff over at Sammy Gurus for pointing this out over on X. Definitely check out Jeff Springer on YouTube or the Sammy Gurus uh, website for a bunch of new Samsung related content. Uh, very, very helpful information over there. So if we head into our connections and we hit the little three dot menu up here and click on intelligent Wi-Fi. If you scroll down here, your page is going to stop at the intelligent Wi-Fi version. But if you tap this five times, you will get a connectivity labs option right here. When you tap that, there's a bunch of helpful tools and information in here. Um, such as the weekly report for Wi-Fi connection times, so how long Wi-Fi is on, and it gives you a day-by-day -day breakdown, how long you're connected to Wi-Fi, the different types of Wi-Fi wi bands you're connected to, so 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz, or multi-link networks. As you can see, I'm always connected to 5 gigahertz because I have a Wi-Fi 6 router, so that uses the 5 gigahertz uh, standard. And you can see that down here. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 right there. The 6 minutes of Wi-Fi 5 connection time is actually when my phone connects to my uh, DJI Pocket 3. Um, so that uses Wi-Fi 5, so that's what that is. You can see how many saved networks you have here, how many are unused, how many are unsecured. And then if we scroll down, we do get some more options. And some of these very, very helpful ones are the home Wi-Fi inspection. So you can start, you can choose your network. This is mine right here. I do have three access points. Um, you can see some of the neighboring Wi-Fi here as well. If we choose my guest network, you can see we have uh, a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz band right here. And these are uh, only showing one of each because I only have this broadcasting from one access point. Whereas this network up here, um, my network is broadcasting from three access points, but it's only broadcasting 5 uh, gigahertz. So if we go ahead and hit next here, you can uh, see that your Wi-Fi is um, set up and configured good. And then you can go and walk around and you can do a signal test. So um, this um, access point, well, they just went away, but um, you can see which access points you are closest to and which ones have the best signal and stuff like that. So like I said, I do have three access points. So you saw that one in the red, that's the farthest one away. I have one right here in my office next to me. And then I have one in the middle of my house as well. So you can see uh, different signal strengths and what you are, um, what you're getting and where so you can find Wi-Fi dead spots. You don't have to download a third party app or anything. You can just do it right here directly from your Wi-Fi settings on One UI 7. Uh, there is a Wi-Fi 7 mode, um, so you can enable or disable um, the Wi-Fi 7 for testing purposes. Some of these are for uh, like developer options, and some of these are you know just features that are in testing. Um, not all of these are new to One UI 7 either. Some of these were available before, um, but I'm just going over everything here because this is the first time I've messed around with it. Um, intelligent Wi-Fi handover. Um, so I'm guessing that's probably for like roaming and stuff like that between access points. Uh, switch to mobile data with AI, um, so you can have your phone be more intelligent about when it switches off of a wi off of a Wi-Fi network and uses mobile data. Like if your internet's uh, unstable or you lose connection to the internet while it's connected to Wi-Fi, it'll switch over to um, mobile data. And there's another option for that up up there, switching to mobile data faster, so it will wait less time. Um, if you have like an unlimited mobile data plan, you may want to enable that. That way, if like I said, you're on a slow or unstable Wi-Fi network, your phone will choose to use mobile data faster over the Wi-Fi um, to you know improve the reliability and stability of your connection. You can choose to show the network quality info on your Wi-Fi uh, list. Enhance Wi-Fi compatibility. There's no, no issues in there right now. Um, customize the Wi-Fi list settings. So you can customize your network list uh, based on signal strength and uh, sort it by different things like signal, alphabetical, high frequency, stuff like that. Um, and then there are some more Wi-Fi developer options. I said, um, like I said, some of these are developer things. Some of these are just lab features and all that kind of stuff. One cool feature that isn't uh, enabled right now for me, it's grayed out because I am on a five gigahertz only network. This SSID is not broadcasting a 2.4 gigahertz network, uh, but if it was broadcasting 2.4 and five gigahertz networks, um, you have you ever set up one of those um, IoT devices like a smart home, uh, maybe a smart plug or something like that that only supports 2.4 gigahertz, but your phone's connected to the five gigahertz network, you can enable this. 
um, to have your phone connect temporarily to the 2.4 gigahertz network for IoT setup. That way, when your phone shares your uh, SSID and password information to that smart device, it will give it the proper 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection so that device is uh, compatible and it will connect. Like I said, I don't have anything, um, I don't have this enabled on my network right now. I'm not using a 2.4 gigahertz uh, network, it's just five gigahertz. So if I was, that would be uh, highlighted and you can enable that for setting up IoT devices or devices that only support uh, 2.4 gigahertz networks. So that's some of the connectivity lab stuff under the intelligent Wi-Fi section here on One UI 7. I'm Colin with Tech Out, and over to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.